name, say my name. Flo, Rila. Oh shit. Rulo, Rulo, Rulo. Okay. You guys ready? Yes. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Off Axis podcast. I'm here with Jojo, Cecilia, Flor, Rerura. <laughs> They're all French, and uh, Chloe, Cutsman. You got it. Yeah, yeah. D- how bad was your name? Terrible. Did you say it pretty bad? Absolutely terrible. So nice try, nice try. You three are all um, synchronized swimmers, and you are all from France, correct? Yes. Yes. Everyone yes. was born in France. Different yeah. parts of the country, though? Yes. 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 So, when did you guys all meet each other? I was like oh. 11, maybe 11 years old when I met Jojo. Yes. And, uh, and I was a little older. Chloe? I met you when I was older, maybe 17. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. We met through, like, when we were competing. So. Mm. Yeah, so. Long time. <laughs> long time ago so uh, when you're competing as a synchronized swimmer are you always on teams or can you be by yourself oh, um so you have the solo uh duet and then the team team of eight or team of ten they have like different so uh, there is solo though yeah there is oh did you guys like doing solo stuff more or team stuff more i hate it solo. i hated solo as really well. i like yeah. duet the best uh. it's my favorite it's a hard event best. I think it's the hardest, actually. Mm. Oh, yeah? I like duet. Yeah. Oh, Jojo. I did a duet with Jojo. The mic. No way. Yes. And when? We competed in Switzerland. In Switzerland. Oh, that the was the year before I got to the training center. Yeah. yeah. Switzerland right? open, we swam together. That's fun. Oh, uh, okay. So, so is there dudes that do synchronized swimming? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? Is there, like, teams of it, or...? Actually, yeah, in Paris, there was a team. It's, like, it's not very high level, but yeah. there is none. Do you think the girls are better? So yeah. far, yes. Yeah. yeah. There's a few guys that are Like, better. so are their movements different and stuff in synchronized swimming? Between girls the and guys? Yeah. No, they no. do the same. They but the same but like the same you just stuff? try to do it more masculine when you have guys yeah. with you. But they are higher because they are stronger. So they are uh, higher above the water, more powerful. Okay, yeah. question. So when you are, your feet are up in the air mm. and they're like pointed, what are you doing under? Like, we that's it? It's called sculling. sculling. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you stay upside down? Yeah. 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 Keep your thumb well, together. Well, your arms work, but your full body, it's like core and Tight. abs. Oh, so I've never even thought be, of yeah. that because I always wondered and I'm like doing this and yeah. I can never <laughs> stay upside down. But it takes like years to uh, get that thing. I notice every time you fall on the wakeboard, you always stick your foot up <laughs> in the air. It's funny. <laughs> every time she falls, like she does pretty things. She's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> like princess fall. <laughs> yeah. Laura's got a bunch of wakeboarding experience now. Mm-hmm. Wake She's a professional. All summer, every week. I know, right? Like all summer we went. So you guys, when you, so you guys all met each other, and then you guys were doing. You said like national teams together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You guys were all on the same team. Yes. yes. So years. how long? Seven years. S- no, several years. Several years. We didn't stay. Because like, she's the younger. Same. Yeah. yeah. I'm oh, the oldest. I'm the oldest one. Oh wait. Oh well, thank really? you. Really. <laughs> I she was born in 1987. I had no idea. I thought you guys were all the same age, actually. 1987, 1988, 1991. 1991. She's a baby. Oh. She's a baby. Yeah. Oh, wait. So I'm 1990. So I'm like right in between. Yep. I'm right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So when you, so you guys already knew each other. And then did you guys try out for La Rev together? Or did they just cast you guys? Or actually, how did that we happen? we try it together. Yeah, we did. I mean, audition a couple of years before. Oh yeah, yeah. When I came to visit Lila, I auditioned, oh. but I said I'm not ready because I wanted to finish school. And then I'm like, okay, I'm ready. No that's more boyfriend. You no. <laughs> because when we auditioned together, that's what I said. I was like, I'm not yeah, ready because exactly. I needed to finish school. Yeah, but at least you were in the little paper. That's what I did too. Uh, yeah. So wait, did you guys do Olympic stuff? I didn't. No. We no. Did, none of us went to the, the Olympics. We did the qualification. Qualification. Uh, yeah. Twelve. Yeah. Uh, the competition for okay it, uh, so then when did you guys all start working with for la rev was someone in first for first? me 2012 i because i got there before them we were then with the national team and just um had like some random auditions and then a few months after they say like okay uh we'll offer you a contract uh. and i auditioned in 2013 in france they were auditioning in france and i got a job and i arrived here in january 14. Yeah. Yeah. So six and a half years of the rev. 
Uh, so did you get citizenship? Not yet. I have the green card. So in May, I can apply for citizenship. Okay. And we all have green cards. I, yeah. I can already apply for the citizenship, but because of COVID, I cannot. Okay. So, yeah. But you guys didn't have to leave or anything or get married like everyone else? No, because we had awesome visa. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just well, know a bunch of people got married like a couple of weeks ago. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, no, no. We, had yeah. our we got an old like one uh, and we were able, because of that visa, we already had like a good, um, yeah, and we got a good file, a good ago. file to apply for green card. Yeah, you got your green card. Like, when did you get it? Two F four and a half years ago. Yeah, you? 2017. So just like you. And me, like three, three years ago. Yeah, yeah three so years ago. Yeah. We so didn't know about COVID yet. <laughs> I know, right? No one knew about that. If you'd have <laughs> talked to me in the middle of February, I would have been like, yep, I'm going to be performing for the next nine months. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to make for so real. much money. It's all good. And then, like, it's all like, wait a second. <laughs> what do I do now? Like, should I fix houses or? Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. For <laughs> real. It was should I wake surf? <laughs> no, just kidding. I know, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> but it was the best job in the world, though. No, right? It was. It was. Uh, it's. I don't know. For me, because I left Laref three years ago, I realized that actually it was it was easy. I went, well, it's easy and not easy at the same time. Physically, it's hard because you yeah. do two shows uh, at the end of the week. Night. You feel like okay, it's the yeah, end of the you week. Do, you yeah, do, you do ten shows a week, so it's pretty pretty like uh, complicated yes. physically and intense. Yeah, but uh, when you have a regular job with like crazy hours and mentally, like mentally, it's like it's draining you. And I've yeah. done the opposite. I. I finished school in Paris and I worked for a year and a half for a normal, like a normal job, marketing, like, and then I came here and I was like, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, even like, it's like a big family to live yeah. and. And you just have fun with your friends yeah. every night. And yeah, you yeah. I miss in front of people and you get paid yeah. for this. And I miss the shenanigans in the dressing room and yeah. I know, right? It's crazy that it all just disappeared. Mm -hmm. And you guys had like a consistent job. A lot of I've never worked on a show that goes like year round or anything. Okay. So that's a really cool yeah. like best gig ever. <laughs> yeah, I know, sure right? Is. And then do they give you like weeks off and stuff? So you're not yeah, always we, totally toasted? Yeah, you have your vacation. Yeah. yeah, we had like about five weeks a year total yeah. Yeah. two so weeks in like january 10 days in summer and then five days five days nice. random in the between that's so pretty nice though two days for us it was very nice because we could go to france every now and then yeah. so we could go visit the family and stuff yeah nice so you guys all would you only do the synchronized swimming acts or would you do other things as well no we can do some like a few other stuff w well actually what happened is like synchronized swimmer could do more things before but some of them got injured pretty badly so they limited what synchronous swimmer could do so there's no is harness like a, yeah no harness is the rule for and, synchro. Acro and acrobatic stuff we had like one uh aerial act um, which was awesome that is Can we was a little pretty closer to the microphone pretty cool sorry yeah and then um yeah that's it everything else we not really allowed to do yeah. it so we're more like but the three of us were people. doing it at some point this aerial yeah. act it's like you go in the air and with a partner and you and kiss a you guy you do a pull up <laughs> <laughs> you do a pull up you kiss <laughs> you, wait, you guys kiss someone every single night yep yeah. someone different yeah. two nights ago uh, two nights um, <laughs> <laughs> that's how Twice her piece was started <laughs> I mean yeah <laughs> <laughs> I mean some people do dating apps and they don't even do that so we got lucky on that part yeah <laughs> that's got awesome new, got a new guy every night <laughs> Wow, sounds like quite the job. <laughs> 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 what else there things was cool about that? I just recently found out that there's like scuba and like yeah. tanks Underwater, below you. we would do crazy games and like, yeah. yeah. Really? Like yeah. the synchro, synchro, like upside down, doing this five minute act with the shoes on and the long, long lines and the bell that you just take off at the end and ta-da, didn't yeah. breathe for five minutes. But so during this act, it's Attached like to the long line, you have a, reg a regulator. So yeah. you... So you you're breathe. breathing the so whole time. So we just this one not, act. Yeah. Not for every act, just like that one because it's really, really long. long. Dude, but that's crazy. So we're yeah. upside down <laughs> and playing games and like just being like silly mm -hmm. and upside down. Oh, no man. one can see that, but it's so much fun. It's like well, uh, actually, that's not true. Divers can see it. <laughs> yeah. But the <laughs> but audience um, couldn't because yeah, the audience like, we're, we were so used to yeah. do yeah. synchro that they like, couldn't we tell. couldn't handle like doing professional stuff outside and still playing underwater. That's awesome. 
I feel you on that. We did the same kind of stuff, like on the tramp on ramps and yeah. stuff. Same. Challenge it, yourself. It, it makes it more fun. Yeah, spice you. If you just do your choreography every day, you'll get so bored and you'll hate your job. Well, but if you're having fun with it, then exactly. it's always going to be it's more not fun. not a job. Yeah. It was yeah. never boring, ever. Yeah. No. no, never. That's awesome. And you're pretty much just swimming, right? It's not like what's... Do you get injuries from swimming, like overuse injuries or anything? Oh, yeah. yes. People yeah. think because we're in the water, we cannot get injured, but you can get injured pretty oh, badly in sure. the water. And I'm clumsy, so I would oh, always she would injure herself, <laughs> injure herself, herself all stuff. the time. I'm like, hit, like in the tunnel, it's pretty, like, I would always hit head, or knee, or whatever. But it's dark also, so. Yeah, yeah. It's, sometimes it's, it's pitch black, and yeah. like, you need to know where you're going. And, yeah. and you're just swimming with, like, a, like oxygen so um, you have like regulator every couple meters yeah yeah something like that so feet? you can like yeah yeah 43 yeah yeah so one feet. meter yeah. yeah okay and another probably dumb question but how do you not get water up your nose you have a we nose have a nose clip nose clip yep. yeah wherever you go all the time wherever mm. you go no i mean no <laughs> <laughs> not no. always some girls are like more comfortable so they can be upside down without a nose clip i'll do this and do few things yeah I cannot. I can't. Because every time yeah. I go to flip Me underwater, either. it just all goes. <laughs> you should try with a nose clip. Well, we'll bring one next yeah. time. Yeah. Oh, dope. You can I'm practice. But I love then you're going to hate it because day. it's painful, though. Oh, next is it? Yeah. Next boat day, you're going to put me. Oh, yeah. You're going to have go your, upside your down. nose. No, sore. we'll have him wake surf with the nose yes. clip. Yes. <laughs> uh, I just hate cliff diving because when you come up short, all the water goes shooting up your nose. Yeah. And then you just have to sneeze for like the next 10 minutes. I guess. High dive with a uh, nose clip is not a good idea though because it would so. hurt because they would pop off and yeah. come yeah. off and hurt you. Like even the performers who were used to do the high dive in the show, they, they several times they were saying like they had like yeah, yeah like yeah, with their water. sinus you water yeah. in the sinus and all of that. So yeah, yeah, that gets pretty bad. I did a diving show last summer and we were diving into like a swamp basically. So they would always have to cancel the shows because like the water was too dangerous to go in. And then they would just like throw a bunch of bleach and chlor not bleach, but chlorine into the pool. And then they would like shock it. But then when you went into the pool, it would like burn your eyes like crazy. So mm. I was like, no. uh, it was terrible. never good. It was always bad. And then it got bad Worse. the other way. <laughs> it was just a non-sub cycle. But then we did one into a, a regular pool and it was super nice. I got to jump into a waterfall. Wow, that's mm. pretty. Waterfall is like the perfect way to do high dive because it's more bubbly. Yeah, the water yeah. is not still. Softer. Yeah. So it doesn't hurt. Not yeah. as much when you... Mm-hmm. Did you guys ever do any of the diving in the show? Nope. No, we're not allowed. You're not allowed no. to do it at all, like, in practice? No. No. Not really. Even at practice, I wish, we're not allowed. I yeah. wish I did the high dive, like... You would have the hurt girl yourself. high dive. You would have hurt yourself. Yeah, yeah. that would have been so cool, though. <laughs> it That's hurts. so high. It's, it's pretty high, because it's, it's like, like two... 18 feet? 18 no, meters? One. So, I you know, it's, like, it's 15... 15, 15 meters. 15 meters, and then twin over 20? 20? It's 60 and 80 feet. Uh, maybe that's what it okay, is. Okay, so yeah. Yeah. No, 80 feet. So 65 80 and 80 feet. feet. Yes. Something the high, like high that. one. But the girl, the first girl, when she the jumps. The girl does, she does 60, no? 60? Yeah, yeah. I think it's 60. Yeah. That's crazy. Because I could never imagine like hanging and then letting go. That seems scarier than doing a flip off yeah. of it. Really? It's no. Yeah. <laughs> I flip, well, I'm like, I don't know where I am. because I would rather do a flip soon. than just drop because... You can like adjust, and if you jump one way, I just feel like if you jump too far, you're kind of screwed. Huh. Or if you're leaning off or something. Well, they're like right in the center, but it looks very tiny from a. It bit. does. I'm sure that looks terrifying, yeah. actually, because it looks terrifying from the crowd. I'm like, oh, what if they miss? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the show? I saw it one time. Oh, and I saw it good. recently towards the end. Oh, okay. so then oh, you cool. saw when the when the swimmers. Uh, got like from the at the beginning the on the like branches on the, twig, the twigs yeah they get uh, they go they come down it wasn't like that before the mm. guys were doing it and then they mm. we changed the show yeah, they changed yeah. things yeah Loref changed a lot yeah every, I heard that every six months <laughs> for something real, like every that. year yeah yeah we had something but new every year what was like the biggest change the music <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah you're we right. changed yeah the the biggest and the, the worst music. <laughs> Really? The music would change when a lot? When was this? Two years they ago? They changed the entire... Like they Three years ago. One day they changed it. Yeah. Did they ever talk to you guys about shaving your head? It was supposed to be the girls originally. When they first <laughs> created the show, 
Franco Dragon wanted the girls to shave their head. Oh and my god! And everyone actually. Apparently, yeah. I've heard. I don't want. I think. No, because girls. They were kind of like striking. No, yeah. no, no. <laughs> and also, Steve Wynn, who was buying the show, was like, "We're not going to put bold girls in Vegas." Hell no. Yeah. So this didn't go through, and guys had to shave their heads. Yeah. But so in we the contract, it says that if tomorrow we have to shave, we had to like. Uh, would you have shaved or no, would you have quit? No, I'd be like, mm. bye. Well, it I wouldn't. It depends if they give a lot of money. <laughs> you wouldn't. If they, you if wouldn't. They, if they triple your salary. Yeah, maybe yes. Then. You but wouldn't. But triple the, the money. Thing lying, I would, you would never. I would shave, and then they would fire me because my. My skill is so bubble. I would, <laughs> they, would, they would be like, ah, you're actually really ugly, so you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. How do you know that? this? Have you been bald before? But no, I can feel it's all messed up. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know if they dropped me when I was young or something. But <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ever told that's you. That's why I'm like, oh, that's <laughs> why. Probably. Uh, uh, I had a friend that okay. I shaved his head, and after I shaved it, I was like, ah, oh, I shouldn't have shaved it. Yeah. <laughs> it is a weird shape. Why not? So mm -hmm. they will probably fire me after they make me shave. So <laughs> I'd be screwed either way. Then short hair for three years. Mm. I shaved the sh just one side. Ten That's years. true. You did. I did. Yeah, my right side. Just one side. Yeah, and got in shave trouble. Shave trouble. Red. Really? Yeah. Pink or it red? Was red. Red. Red hair they on the other side curling. They yes. didn't like. Yeah. Wait, were you in Larev when you did that? Yes, I was. Were they mad? Yes, yes they were. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? You just kept going. I got in trouble. Trouble but you guys maker. wear swim caps, right? Not, not all the time. Not no. all the acts. We have just one act. One act, you wear swim caps? Everything else no, where you is, don't. Um, oh, you don't. You don't. Everything else is with a hat or wig. No, but we had two at the time. We had fountains without. Wait, so you like would wear a wig underwater? No, yes. no, I always did How fountain with a... Uh, but we come up at some point and go back under. And when uh, I but we have a wig here. that holds like this. Oh, so it goes under you? Like a strap. So that's why when they do crazy banking jumps at the end, they don't lose the bit. The wig either. Oh, really? This strap here. Oh, I didn't realize they were wearing wigs too. Mm-hmm. Oh. Everyone. Hmm. To look the same. That's the thing about the Rev, actually. You have a lot of hats and wigs, but not too much makeup. And like more like Cirque du Soleil shows, they have like very like big makeups. Mm -hmm. uh, Everyone's got like full face yeah. and stuff. Mm -hmm. So wait, would you guys even need to wear makeup? Yeah. Yeah. We had a makeup even like, like under the goggles. Set up. Ah, weird. And it didn't fall off? No, that's I think you fixed it pretty shoes, but it stays, yeah. Yeah, yeah it stayed pretty waterproof good. Waterproof stuff and lots of powder that makes it stay. Yeah. yeah. So, if so, wh what are you guys' plans if uh, La Rev doesn't open back up? It won't, it's officially closed now. I know, but you never so know, they might have just closed true. it for like business reasons because if they say it's closed, they don't have to pay certain yeah. things. And then, so would you do O? I mean. I don't know. I'm already out, like out of the show business. It's been three years, so. I personally would love to go to O, but the thing is because they hired so many new people in January, with the um, to go seven days a week. Yeah. There's like a list of people who are gonna be hired mm -hmm. first, you know, because. Yeah, but you have your green already, card and they don't. So. Yep, they already that's true. That's a thing now. But they already have their costume and they know the show, so they're gonna be. Yeah, but you're yeah, a performer. But they they, need, they would cannot would spend too much money on a performer, mm. so uh, like a visa is very expensive. Oh, they're going with local people for sure. Yeah. When it opens back up, because they will be unsure if it'll stay open. Yeah. So yeah. if you're living here, you have a huge chance of getting the show. Plus the visas they have right now, mm. they are not allowed to have some. Oh to yeah, have any. to have new ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So I mean, yeah, I'm open about it. I mean, why not? Exactly. In the meantime, I'm living my best life. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of wakeboarding, right? What else do you do? Lots of rock climbing and rock skydiving? Yeah, today I was rock climbing all day in Red Rock. It was amazing. I'm really sore. Today? <laughs> yes. Again? I literally got home at 6. I'm like, okay, it's time to go to the podcast. Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> so she was rock climbing she, she while I was at the office yes. sitting <laughs> behind my desk the whole day. Doing real estate? Yes. And then finances stuff. Okay, so let's dive into that real quick. What do you do exactly for it? Are you like I an accountant or what do you do for real estate? Uh, for real estate, I'm a real estate agent. And for finance, I'm a financial advisor. So I'm trying to have the two business go hand to hand just because I think yeah, that could help. And like, for sure. Yeah. So you can so help me buy a house? Of course. Whenever. I just have the problem of not having a steady income. And I like to write things off of my taxes. So it's hard for me to get a house loan. 
but we can totally work this out with my lender and see what he says. Let's do it. I'm down. Because I wanted to buy this house, but it just wasn't happening with all the loans and stuff. And like, I write everything off my taxes, so it says that I make or I come out negative. But it's I don't know. It's not like I don't you. have money. Yeah, but we can look it up. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Let's buy some houses. <laughs> In Florida, what do you do outside for work? So right now I don't. I'm retiring right now because you know what I <laughs> thought about tired. it. Because I thought about it. <laughs> retiring too old, you have the money, but you don't have the energy. When you're too young, you come out of school, you don't have money. You have time, but no money. So right now it's perfect. Like 30, I'm 32. It's like I have the money and the energy, so <laughs> I do it all. Then I'll start working when I run out of money. <laughs> That's actually not. This is not yeah. stupid. That's not stupid at and all. I own a house here, so yeah. I just have roommates. Oh, uh, okay. Is it a big house? Mm, three bedroom, normal. So you guys all live in the separate places, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, we're friends, but we, don't all <laughs> we want to stay friends. We want to stay friends. True. True. That's true. <laughs> it's true. It's really hard to live with people. Like, we have such a tight group of people here, but whenever like people come in that aren't used to it, it usually ends up in them moving out. Like, uh, I don't know when there's six people like you have to be so on top of your stuff if you're not doing your dishes they yeah. build up really quick and yep. like all that stuff if one person doesn't do their dishes then the next person doesn't want to do them because the sink has like stuff in it and then it just gets higher and higher and then finally someone's like I'm gonna take a picture of this guys what the fuck <laughs> 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 well, at least that's what happens here <laughs> just do your chores guys i know right wash your dishes <laughs> but then anyway, what else Make uh, your bed. Um, so, yeah, I'm just living the life yeah skydiving retired like, life skydiving like because uh, i started skydiving like four years ago four or five years ago and yeah. like i was not allowed obviously because because my Lorev. contract of the rev but i still did it because i need the adrenaline to <laughs> be i know happy. adrenaline junkie that's a real thing though. yeah i have to jump off a cliff every <laughs> once in a while otherwise yeah. i'll go crazy exactly so that's my drag personally yeah and so yeah i started again since when I, okay nothing else to do don't not scared to be injured yeah so i started skydiving again in like june and i'm really into it so maybe huh. do some outside video at some point yeah that Get would be paid. cool yeah that would be super yeah. cool That'd but you need cool. to create your own uh company mm -hmm. because it's all private contractors there and buy your rig uh, expensive how much is it <laughs> Like brand new, the whole rig is like eight, nine grand. We'll just get a loan. Yeah, you can do that. So or buy it used. It goes. Usually you buy used, especially your first rig, you usually buy it used. So I'm looking to buy a also for like 5,000. In France, we don't do loans for a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah it's not no? yeah. it's not French mentality. No, it's You not. spend the money you have. You don't stop. I mean, for our houses, critical. obviously. There's Bigger. not like a big yeah. culture about credit. Actually, mm. like, yeah. yeah, this is very, yeah. we had to learn a lot when we got here. Yeah, you spend it's a the money. weird system. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's just completely different. In France, you d would just spend the money you have. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, our system is meant to screw over people who don't yes. know how it works. Exactly. And Kinda. profit to the people who do know how it works. Yeah. Like, yeah. I make money off my credit cards and the rewards. But oh, yeah, yeah me, too. me too. Other but people, when you don't know, yeah. yeah if you don't know how just, it works, yeah. They just max it out. Then they pay it off monthly and, they get and another then they get job. another one. Yeah. And I talk to people and they're like, oh, yeah, I'm $40,000 in credit card debt. I'm like, <gasps> how? Like, yes. I at least never had $1,000 or more credit limit. Yeah. So I just mm -hmm. pay off everything every month and it just, yeah. same. it works as a good thing, mm -hmm. especially because if you get your credit card hacked, credit cards are super fast and debit cards are yeah. slow yeah. and uh, just safer. But yeah. You, you don't know yet. But <laughs> so, financial advisor, what should we know? <laughs> do you do your own taxes? <laughs> For sure that you should know how to use your credit card. <laughs> yeah. People but don't realize if you don't, then you lose like seven to ten bucks a month. And then if you do pay it off, then you like gain money. Mm -hmm. Or more. Or more. Some people lose more because like the, the interest is like between 19 and 23%. Yep. Yeah. It's so like insane. So the every month you insane. pay it off, that interest just continues and you're not actually paying anything off it just stays the same yeah it, it adds up it's terrible mm -hmm. yeah i mean hey sometimes you don't have a choice so i don't blame anyone but like for sure that's step number one mm -hmm. yeah. no debt no yeah. debt no debt <laughs> well right now i'm pretty sure it must be complicated for some yeah. people yeah it's harder in some states it's like very like for me because it just moved 
Okay, I was in Vegas, then I moved to California, uh, Los Angeles, and then just uh, moved back to uh, Vegas. So, I mean, in California right now, everything is shut down. It's uh, and rents are very high. I mean, you know, it's like it's, it's you. It's really hard to find something and under like fifteen hundred. So yeah, for renting, yeah, definitely really as hard. As, so. I mean, I'm Pull like, the mic up a little bit again. When you think about people with families, kids, and all of that, you know, no, it's like sure. it's not enough. Like what they give for unemployment, or even if they had like an extra three hundred or like a twelve hundred stimulus check, it's like yeah. definitely not enough. So yeah. yeah. But I hope like people will learn the lesson, kind of. So now they're gonna know that they need to save money if something not similar, but if. But if. Even if, if you happen. save, like uh, if some people save, they use almost all their saving because does the help doesn't cover enough. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, where you it lasts longer. Where you live. Yeah, but everyone needs like a side hustle, a yeah. different way of making money. If you are yeah. based off one thing, then if that thing fails, then you're totally screwed yeah. and you have no backup plan. Yeah, this is true. Which is why I always had four different ways of making money. That was always my goal to just keep four Smart. ways. And if one fails, then you just move your forces over to the next one. Yeah. Like yeah. I had nine months of shows booked every single weekend or all summer long at like theme parks. And uh, that's, I was like, all right, well, I'm not going to focus on shoes anymore because shoes cost too much money to make and it's too much big of a risk. And then shoe or uh, shows get all canceled. The whole entire nine month tour just canceled. And it was like the most money I would have ever made in my life is gone. And I was like so depressed and <laughs> I just started drinking a lot and I was like, oh man, <laughs> all my money that I would like plan on having. And like, of course to do all the shows you have to do, uh, get the insurance and all kinds of other yeah. upfront and costs. Adds up, yeah. 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 I lost like $10,000 oh, so you paid because that of COVID before. Yeah. Yeah. To be Brady. Cause a lot insurance. of people won't sign the contracts unless you have the insurance booked through that. No, of oh. course. Yeah. Makes sense. Oh, wow. Yeah. And that's, I'm definitely not doing that anymore Nightmare. cause there's no way of getting it back. The so now you're more like, into the, yeah. Well, business. as soon as that, canceled i was like okay i'm gonna do all youtube and shoes now and just focus on the shoes and then we like created this new shoe and then uh got them produced and then we got this new mma fighter named tony ferguson nice. oh. like pretty famous fighter and it's really like helped our brand like grow quite a bit in the last few months so just it's it's awesome when you like put your work into stuff yeah. it actually grows and yeah. if you don't then it starts to die off and you really notice that hmm nice yeah. yeah now to make money i mean i was giving some swim lessons this summer to make extra money swim lessons are good too yeah you can do lots of stuff with swimming yeah and now it's like winter so pool are cold and because i was going to houses of people yeah so now it's like getting do you cold have a pool at your house no i don't why uh, not yeah right because <laughs> i bought the wrong house no pool buy another house yeah, <laughs> yeah but now i'm gonna house right <laughs> there you go with no income yet. And yeah, now I'm gonna try to tutor French. I was doing that a little bit and might do that again. To teach French? Teach French to uh. kids or adults or whoever wants to learn French. Yeah, I need to Who learn wants French. To learn I don't French. know any French. Lots of people want to a learn French. A lot of people they want to, but they don't realize French how hard it is. Yeah. No, but people say they want to learn French, but how much commitment do are they feeling to? Yeah. It's very hard. Yeah. It's just they willing to. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Let's, let's be like very like honest about it French doesn't make sense even for us it doesn't make sense we're like really? it's very yeah, romantic because it is <laughs> oh shut up <laughs> 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 we have like so many like rules but that's so many exceptions <laughs> of the so rule yeah, like, yeah so it's just that's crazy that's how you create a rule you need exceptions yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're just making it to apply to yourself when you want it to always do mm. this but this time and this time and this time mm. yeah <laughs> They all have some rules. Like, I think we need to create a new language now and just mush them all together or something. Yeah. Oh, I like cool. that. Like, they already, already created we some words. <laughs> <laughs> we do. You guys like, made up your own language or what? We made up a word in French because there's no word for... Uh, shadow. Shallow. Yeah. Like, shallow? when the, we talk about the pool, not about a person being shallow. That could <laughs> apply, I guess. Sure, yeah. But, like, a pool, like, when it's not deep, you know, then in French, you would say not deep. Peu profond, but we were like, we want a real word to say shallow, and so we made it up. <laughs> des prus, des prus. We invented that word on a party. You know? yeah. yeah, but there's so many times we, we like say things and we're like, wait, 
do you say that in French, really? <laughs> like, yeah. it happened to us the other day on the boat. We're like, yeah. Uh, yeah, we do Franglish a lot. Yeah. Yes. Like, she was yeah. saying something, I was like, yeah, I totally get it. She was like, but you know, it's not French. <laughs> yeah, but I get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> you sure it's not? <laughs> so then we would challenge ourselves, like, during, like, show times. Like, we would eat between shows at the cafeteria and, like, okay, we cannot. It was, like, only French people eating at the table. Like, we cannot speak English. No English word. And it was so hard. That's really like, hard. Sometimes you would make a word, like, you're not sure. Because <laughs> English, actually, the way it's built, it's so much easier. Really? And logical. So, yeah. so sometimes. No, it is. It is. Like, compare, like yeah, if you compare think? to fr uh, to French, it's very, it's easy, like, to make a sentence. It's like, uh, everything, like, writing, everything is easier. Yeah. But so, so it comes, your, your brain's going to come forward. It's, like, you know, easier. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. So you're mm -hmm. just going to be, oh, okay, I'm going to say that in English. Because in French, it takes, like, you know, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna have like three letters for one word in English. You're gonna have like uh, maybe twelve. Schedule. <laughs> Emploi du temps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it's sad because then you get home and all your friends in France uh, make fun of you because <laughs> you yeah. are, you're like, English uh, words. Attends, what did you say that in French? Like, like they're like, yeah, right. You don't remember. Like you actually sometimes. But okay, do you uh, get like a headache when you have to speak English for too long? No. No. Uh, no, really. Not, not, really? not anymore. We're speaking yeah, English. the beginning, like the first two years, I was like. Uh, okay. Yeah. But you didn't. I'm over it. You, did you? You didn't take the class when you no. arrived. You neither. Uh -huh. I took classes when I arrived right away. Oh. Like I arrived and I was like, okay, I'm gonna. I went to the community college and mm -hmm. then to classes because literally, when the lady from Bank of America called me, I was like, what the heck she's saying? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, she's she's crazy. <laughs> I don't get anything. And uh. I was like, can you speak uh, slowly, please? I don't understand. And she was like, I don't understand you either. <laughs> yeah. but in, France, in France, you you also you learn the English from England, so you get here and like crazy American accent. What? Yeah. yeah. But now we have that American accent, but I mean, still with the French, but like we speak more. It's yeah. it's still really hard for me to get. Okay, um, talked not a long time ago with people coming from Texas. Yeah. Yeah, it's still hard for me to. Oh, like, <laughs> okay. Yeah, some accent. Don't get it. <laughs> hard for us. Or even Australian, Australian people, it's not. Depends. Not always easy, yeah. Depends, But yeah. my roommate from Alabama, when he gets that southern accent in, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, the southern accent is pretty harsh. Mm -hmm. so it can be pretty hard to understand. Now you would go to France, and for the first six months, you would translate every single thing in your head before saying something or before understanding something. That's mm. how we were. Yeah. 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 But now it comes a bit... Like, even we dream in English sometimes. It's like... Yeah. You dream in English? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's like a when thing. you know that. You yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> that's they awesome. say that if you can dream in the other language, that means that your you really second language is better. Yeah. yeah. I've spent like a few weeks in different countries, but never more than that. Yeah, so but like also you can al always get away with English. Kind of. Not really in like. Uh, deep, deep China, okay. <laughs> yeah, not in China. <laughs> but like, n not in like Panama, really. Yeah, South no one America. Speaks. South oh, yeah. America, they're. There's no one speaking English. Huh. Like, uh, I didn't find... I used my translator on my phone the whole time I was in France. And I was, like, mm -hmm. a week in Paris and then, like, a week in Nantes. But the oh, whole time... <laughs> Where I'm from. But I'm not, yeah. I'm not surprised because people in France, they're, like, they're not going to try to, like, talk to you in English. They're exactly. Gonna be, That's how I felt. They're going to be like, like, effort. They're gonna be like no. okay, whatever. Like, I don't if you're an American, you. they had you... Yeah, uh -huh. they hate you. I, I felt like they, <laughs> they would just hated me because I didn't speak French. Oh, and, and you and were American. Because you were American. <laughs> that's why. That yep. makes it even worse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I noticed when I was in France. I was like, damn, no one likes me here. <laughs> yeah. Next time, just say you're Australian and <laughs> make up an accent. <laughs> <laughs> and they people would, will love you. <laughs> they would never know. So they they won't. So just you say you're from Australia. Yeah, Australian. or what about the, like British? Because we don't have any problem with British people. Uh, no, we hate them too. Really? British Wait, people no. hate French people, and French people don't. No, but really. French hate everyone. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, true. Yeah, it's true. We're like we're haters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's funny. It's like racism or something. But like in Hawaii, it's like the same thing, and all the locals hate everyone that's there. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah. They're really bad in Hawaii. But then you go to Corsica. It's the same. It's this island. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <gasps> Southeast yeah. of France, very like Corsica. Yeah, they're very conservative. They're like close to Italy, so they they yeah. have like Sicilian like vibe. And Crazy blood. Yeah. It's like that in most countries. They come and in, like tourists. They buy a house. They burn your house down. 
Yeah. <laughs> yes. But uh, Greece is and the same. And they want to be independent. Yeah. Crete. Really? Yeah. Uh. Yeah, Greece is the same. They don't like tourists. Tourists. It's like the same in oh. many places, actually. Yeah, because mm-hmm. people come and then they screw up an area. Yeah, but like that's they bring also their own stuff. Mm-hmm. True. But that's also how some people can survive because of the money they are bringing. True. From the tourism, yeah. yeah tourism. So I'm going to Tahiti in two <laughs> weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Where? With my unemployment money, I'm going to Tahiti. Tahiti? Yes. Nice. You're just Who are you going with? Yourself? Myself or? and I. <laughs> oh, that's the retired life right there. <laughs> I have friends who live there, so I'm just going to stay with them. Uh, maybe, nice. maybe you're going to meet someone amazing over there. I'll and never there. come back. <laughs> she's going to get married. She's going to oh, get married over there so we can come visit. Yes. Cool. <laughs> Can't wait. So I'm married already, apparently. With, with someone from there? But I'm, I'm sure they're sweet. Yeah, but why are you doing this Because I don't see her with uh, this kind di- Okay, let me say it not in a racist way or discriminatory way, so it doesn't sound oh bad. My gosh. <laughs> I don't Uh-oh. see you with people from there. Okay. Oh, I I what all, what, kind of, what is your type? Island people. I don't see you with island people. Can I say that? Yes. Is it okay? I don't, I don't have think a type. that's racist. I don't think anyone would be offended by that. I don't have a type. I no connect type. with people. Oh, oh my <laughs> gosh. God. <laughs> yeah, sure. People mm, that's very like French. <laughs> I mean, they surf a lot over there. They do like, mm-hmm. stuff you like. So mm-hmm. yeah, you there is a lot of down. outdoor. You, you might connect mm-hmm. <laughs> on, on the wave. <laughs> you never know. Here we go. Okay, so we all go to Tahiti to go to her wedding. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Give me six months long to find the <laughs> right one. <laughs> six months. No, no, you have three. Uh, six months. <laughs> well, what if you get there, you, go, you get pregnant, so you need to have the wedding right oh. away. Oh, wow. oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> okay. This okay. is going too far <laughs> now. Moving on, moving on. <laughs> Wait, so how long are you going to be there for? Two weeks. Have you been there for? Never. I'm Never? very excited. Have you traveled many places before? Yes. You're not going only for two weeks. You're going for more. From the 3rd to the 19th of so November. Oh. So that's, that's okay, a little bit more. Oh, you're going to get out of here just in time for the election. Yes. Bye. Oh, and you might be gone for the Smart. whole riots and hey, everything. You choose like, your, your day's right. It's a good idea, <laughs> it's actually. Good, yeah. Hopefully Wait. they don't cancel my tickets because COVID, I don't know. Stop you know. putting this in the you know, universe. Like, I'm getting I excited, so I hope. Wait, do you think mm. we're going to have riots? What the heck? <laughs> uh, I believe we will have riots if Donald Trump gets reelected, yes. Yeah. I believe I'm we will have riots either we'll way. Come here. Either way. Hey, we'll exactly. come here. <laughs> Either way, um, we, I think we will be have riots no matter what. I believe more in like another shutdown than uh, riots, actually. I think both. I feel like we're going to have th- another shutdown. Both will come up. <laughs> I don't think we'll have a shutdown because... You, know, I you see how it's happening so? in Europe now? They, they, all like they shut down everything. They have curfews. Curfews After, after like 9, 9, p.m. 9 p.m. Yeah. I don't Ooh. think so. After Crazy. 9 p.m., 9 p.m. Every business is no one on the street walking, so you get a fine. I don't know how much. Because you know, that, between yeah. six and 9 p.m., you cannot get corona. But <laughs> actually, you know what? In England, it's pretty bad because uh, um, my roommate is from England, and she was saying it's you get fined. Oh yeah, like 500. Badly, I think badly, badly, yeah. like for in uh, in England, if you don't wear your mask or oh like stuff oh like that. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah, people are getting crazy about this whole thing. I think well, the best thing you need to do is just eat healthy and work out, and that's the best you can do. And live your and best like life. You can't live under a rock your it's whole more life. It's like, don't be 65. Uh, well. And, like, <laughs> here's another thing. Like, okay, you need to be introduced to different viruses all the time to build up your immune that's system. True. So you're, if you just live in a bubble all the time, now this is just my opinion, but... If you live in a bubble all the time, then you're and you come into contact with something, you're gonna get really sick. Yeah. Personally, I'm very dirty. Like I don't wash my hands very much. Um, I am like not <laughs> sanitary. I eat statement. dirt every day. <laughs> <laughs> when and I fall, I never get sick I though. You, know, in you, the you need to be exposed to germs. This is true. I'm very exposed yeah. to germs. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm d- I'm like a caveman. Like I don't Stop wash. Me, but the way you say like, it is just sounds really bad. funny. <laughs> you, okay, you can you can say that with us, but like on a, a dating profile, just, don't say it. Just okay? don't say that just on the podcast. Don't say that on the podcast. All right, I won't say it on the podcast. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. I just think uh, the, all the soaps and stuff. I don't think that you're supposed to absorb all that soap in your skin and stuff. I think that could be more detrimental to your body than if you just wash your hands with water. Like, I don't believe in all the soaps and stuff <laughs> we put on our bodies. Then you have a clean freak right there who's going to tell you the opposite. <laughs> but not Maybe there is a happy medium. Maybe there is a happy medium. Maybe. There I probably get, is. I get the, like, 
put on your skin what you would eat. I, I understand the concept, but still put still sunscreen on <laughs> because I don't want to be hurt like yeah. with a sunburn. You so true. Yeah. Yeah, I was against sunburn or uh, against sunscreen for a while, uh-huh. and then I kept getting burned, and my face got a bunch of wrinkles, and now I look old. And then I'm like, oh, that's right, just maybe. because you are old. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> wait, I'm younger than you. Yeah, yeah, but still, we're getting older, so we're gonna have wrinkles. Yeah, would yeah. except if you don't. Courage. None of you. None you of you guys have wrinkles. If really. you don't love, I would have thought you guys I were do. all mid twenties. They're hidden. Yes. Like, under the. <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought you guys were way younger than me this whole time. Perfect. Even well, me. Hopefully, it keeps going. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow, I can party tonight. <laughs> I bet you guys were like 26. That would have been my guess. Yes. Oh, wow. No. Old. Well, you think we're older? I mean, I know you're older. Yeah, but what would you think? <laughs> 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 okay. But I think wrinkles make shows that you had a happy life. Because if you stay like this, the, yeah, of course the, you don't or, have wrinkles. But or, if you love, yeah. mm-hmm. or you're too like, anxious and worried all the time. That too. Could ah. be that too. But I like better yeah. the... <laughs> smiling wrinkles like. just get the right wrinkles the smiling one so the one going up yes yeah okay <laughs> i have the one going uh sideways anyway <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> she just said it before we did <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> usually wrinkles. we make joke about that but we're trying to behave so okay <laughs> okay now is the rated r section where you don't have to behave <laughs> okay perfect I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, um, cool. Josie or Jojo, what do you do um, outside of work? We never got to you, like oh. outside of performing, because you said you moved so, to LA. Yeah. What so did you do? Uh, three years ago, I moved to LA and uh, started to work in the event industry. So, uh, working with venues, contracts, making clients happy, which is really complicated in LA because um, yeah. people are very divas. Picky. Yeah, for sure. let's say it, the divas, uh, mm-hmm. and, uh, um, you know, like working with corporates or privates. Um, so it was really fun. Uh, a lot of uh, hours, but uh, really cool. And the cool thing about it, it's the type of event that I did. I was able to hire performers. Um, so That's it, was kind of, it was kind of hard for Synchronized Swimmer. I tried, but because <laughs> it's not water swim, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> but um, a lot of like acrobats or... Uh, Ariel or dancers. Uh, like clowns, dancers, dancers a lot actually, yeah. So it was really cool to be able to work with, uh, like still, you know, working with performers, but I, on I the can other side. side, yeah, yeah, on yeah. the other side, which is which is actually, you know what, you, it's kind of stressful. You're like, okay, you need to be on time. You have a timeline. Yeah. You, you fix you the costume. You're like, like you know, a like what? chasing. A time you what? need to be on time. Yes, you on need to time? be on time. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm never on time. You on time today? Actually, since you're so much better. I'm the worst yeah. now. Yeah. Since I left, since I left, I'm better. And I but always I have anxiety of being late. And they showed up before me today, and I was very anxious about it. I was like texting them. Also, I can't also, believe I'm gonna arrive after I know. you. Also, Wait, girl, we know how to use a GPS, okay? Yeah. Apparently, you don't. <laughs> you said I'm gonna be five minutes late, and I was like, damn, that's really responsible. Like a lot of people wouldn't tell you unless they're gonna be like 20 minutes late or something. Oh no, I oh, hate no, it. Yeah. It gives me anxiety. Me too. I always show up on time. I'm like super always on time, yeah. or I would say something like that. But most people don't. Me too. There's on like, my time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm always late, but I always text. That's true. Is this I, is true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you do. It's true. Where are you? Still at my house. Oh my okay. <laughs> <laughs> at least you're honest. <laughs> but she's not like at her house doing nothing. She's like either like she's cooking because she's bringing something, you know, cause selling be, houses, like a, like a oh, gathering yeah. together, or yeah, or selling houses, working, or, or yeah. But so, I'm always late. Yeah, very often. Really. <laughs> That's not good. You can work on it. But except at work, I've never been late at work. Yeah, me, but but the same for but me. But still, I'm running to. Start the act right on time. Uh, you okay, did this did way too. more often than us. Just the first one. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't miss the first act. Never. <gasps> ever. The first act of the show. Did someone <laughs> miss it? You missed it? She did! <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> I was reading costume right by the water, but we started talking and... <laughs> oh my we God. We hear the music like... You see the problem? Like the she, was, she was ready too early. So exactly. You see what can so then you talk and then you miss it. <laughs> if you show up right on time, you just go in. Yeah. Oh my God. It's true. Yeah. Hey, careful. He will never hire you. I have never hired water acts yet, but hopefully soon. 
That would be cool. Oh, maybe yeah. I should put a pool around the tramp wall. Do it. <gasps> that do would it. be so cool. You put oh. a pool. I'd be less scared to come do trampoline <laughs> if I fall in the water. How many not. feet do you need it? How many, like, how deep does it need to be? We just adapt. Yeah. Really? Well, no. Mm. It's got to be like four feet, right? It's, it's better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, yeah, four feet. Like four obviously, feet, right? obviously, it's better if we. At least if we don't can touch have the bottom. But Actually, if we can have oh at least God, the God, I'm going to put a pool like around my tramp wall. Oh, my gosh. He has I like need to take this off the podcast so people don't steal the idea. <laughs> He's picturing, <laughs> picturing like it right now. And you can't even have we girls need to buy with heels. You oh, need my God. You need to buy the house. Idea. Oh, your shoes. You need you to buy the house. You could have girls swimming with your shoes. You wouldn't want to swim with my shoes. Oh, yes. Wait, let me tell you. You know what? Um, We're going to do it. We're going to promote your thing. Hey, we can do a synchronized swimmer. If you guys can actually do that, I will oh, totally you know, film it and love it. With, uh, I have a pool. We, we, can we only charge. We only yes. charge three hundred an hour. One of the brands they did that. They had like synchronized swimmer uh, wearing sneakers in the water and it looks really what? cool. Actually, it looks it looks really cool. And oh, fun. we could totally yeah. do we it. Love it. Oh man, because that's a great idea. We're doing can, it. Then. Yeah, they can get wet and they're light, so it's even easier for us. Yeah. yeah. That's why you jump it from. So Tanner just no. hired three synchronized swimmer to promote his shoes. Yeah. <laughs> everyone witnessed that, right? Oh my God. It's going to be great in the commercial. <laughs> it's going to throw everyone off. Of X's forever. <laughs> I always wanted to do a commercial that had people doing their skills that had nothing to do with the shoes they were wearing, like mm. knife you throwing should. or juggling you or like do a well, bunch there of go. random stuff. This is the best place Wait. You know, all the people, jugglers, you, everyone. Yeah. yeah. You never wore them to do wake surf? Yes, we wore the them day. yesterday, actually, uh, no, or two days ago, I was for oh, wake okay, surf. Yeah, yeah. On the, yeah. But you would, I don't think you want them for wake surf. No, but you don't want it but for synchro. Brendan just like Brendan yeah. said that it was pretty. Uh, oh, it's very sticky. Yeah, because it would. Yeah. They're super grippy. They're That's really cool. soft. You, uh, yeah, you uh, wake surf with them with the costume. I didn't. W oh, I wake surf with the costume. Uh -huh. I do like cliff jumping with them all the time. Yeah, I think they're great for cliff diving because they're really soft. The rubber's really like. And smushy. they're good to hike. Yeah, for sure. Very good for climbing. You, yeah. I mean, you can totally do something completely like random. Yeah, random and not like. I told you, she's the master of social media. Oh and yes, like so you do marketing, stuff. right? Both I of them. Do I mean, I as well, all of us. Yeah. That was what I did for like years. I mean, that's what I still do. Is basically my job is to make viral videos. Okay. And that's Here we marketing. Go. You have your next one. That's the viral video right there. That's Single it. Single with the axe. And we can axis. do the so thing yeah. underwater. Yeah, and yeah you want to step in the water upside down. Yeah. Ooh. You could have uh -huh. girl upside down oh. and then walking, walking, walking like the, the, walking on the water. surface. Walking on oh water. With the different the colors. Down. Walking the surface. Oh, my God. Okay, wait, we need to not tell any more information. We're going to talk about okay. this after. It's going to be a surprise. So do -do 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 Take notes. <laughs> That's a great idea, though. Yeah. And, and are you can you have a bunch of people like doing a lot of like different stuff. Yeah. You can have like people wearing in on instant juggling. Um, oh yeah, you swimming. can do You can do mm -hmm. like a, a bunch of you said like stuff like where people wouldn't use it. Stop usually. giving ideas on the podcast. Yeah. Okay. No one watches these. So I, get very, <laughs> I, get, I, get, I get very excited about new projects. So sorry. Let's let's do it though. <laughs> Take that notes. sounds like a great idea. Yeah, we have a bunch of videos filmed already. I've been filming like all kinds of sports, like MMA and tramp ball and action sports and dance and parkour. And now we're going to cool. synchronize swimming. And then I'm going to take a little bit of each video and put it into one big commercial. Yeah. I'll have her skydive with it. Oh, that would be dope. <gasps> You're welcome. Yes. That'd be so cool. also we're taking 300 an hour as a <laughs> consultant. So it's a consultant. You'll I'm just have to pay for my, my jump. You're my financial advisor now. The day I <laughs> jump, you just have to pay for my jump. Okay. Uh, how I'll much is that? I'll take a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how much is it to, to skydive? As when you have your license? Yeah. It's like 27 the jump if I had my rig, but because I have to rent the rig, it's like $40 mm. to rent plus the 27 for the jump. You should just buy one. Yes. Because then you could rent it out. Yes, but 5000 <laughs> You have five grand to buy me. That's what I'm saying. So he told you to get a loan. He told you to get a loan. Yeah. yeah. No, and then you pay it off. That's Adapt the whole America, thing about baby. how to make money work for itself. Yeah. yeah. Because That's like, what I'm teaching. Yeah, exactly. Like no. poor people work for their money and smart people or rich people make money work for itself. Yeah. Yep. So like example, I got a loan for these. Instead of paying the money that I have in my bank, I got a loan for them. So that way I'm going to make more, like it comes out to like 250 bucks a month. I'm going to make way more than that on these things. 
So I don't have to waste my money that I have saved up, but okay. at the same time, it's paying itself off. And I'm yeah. cl- like, I'm going to pay interest on it, but it's not that big of a deal because when you can get a bunch of different things like this, the more passive income you have, hmm. the less you have to work. They're cool. Fine. There is I just many need to find But you're retired re- though, so don't worry about it. <laughs> 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 I would put your money into like something though. It's, is it just chilling in a savings account? Sorry? Is all your money chilling in a savings account? No, I mean, I also opened like retirement. Ah, account. there you go. Yeah. I have like a Roth IRA and you had a 401k from the win that I have. Ooh, made there to you go. Over there. Did everyone have a 401k like Cirque? Like or no? whoever uh, wanted yeah. to open it. Half the cash, mm. maybe? I had one. No, but okay, for us, but I don't know if in Cirque they have the 401k. Yes, they, they, they do. do. They, do they have started the having it yeah. like, yeah. Adver- they stopped advertising about it like two years ago, maybe. Oh, yeah, was yeah. it? Yeah, but no, it's very interesting to learn how to make your money, make money for you. Yeah, that's what I've been practicing like this whole entire time. But like I was, I bet like $10,000 in stocks recently. Mm -hmm. Have you guys ever done stocks before? Mm -hmm. So I made a ton of money, probably like two or 3,000 bucks off of trading Apple stocks and like technology stuff that I knew like how it was going to work and when they were going to go up and stuff. And I understood this. But I also lost almost the exact same amount of money by just think when someone's like, oh, this stock's going to go up. I'm like, oh, there, here's a thousand bucks. And then like, boom, drops yeah. in half. And like, <laughs> yeah, like things that I don't understand. I like put too much money on them. And then all the money that I made, it didn't even matter because I lost so much money. There is like safer way to do it, but mm-hmm. so there's yeah. safe ways to do it. <laughs> I mean, I just open an account for myself. Mm-hmm. Like it, it's just like safer. So you'd capture the gain but not the losses so it's just like more interesting i like i just pulled out all of my stocks a week ago because they were they hit this really high High. peak and Mm -hmm. i was like yeah it's about to be the election i think everything's gonna drop off like crazy because everyone's afraid and like all stocks are is people putting money into stuff that's all it is and how much a business profits which is a small percentage of what that is if like a billionaire has like a couple million dollars in stocks and he pulls it all out it's going to cause like 2% and then everyone's going to be like, <gasps> just drop like crazy. And then everyone pulls it out and then it just goes. Pfft. That's how it works. Mm-hmm. But what I've been taught is like, put only in, in the stock market money that you don't actually need. Of course, definitely. So it's like yeah. a fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you always need the money. <laughs> no, no, but like, it's like money that you don't need to use within three to six uh, months. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you have this, you can put it in the stock market. Yeah. If not, just put it in something safer. Yep. But that's why so. like my Roth IRA like it's it works with the stocks too. It's just not me managing the stock because I feel like I don't have the knowledge to know yeah. where yeah. to invest. That's nice though. But they invest for me and right now you choose like your risk like more or less aggressive. Yeah, so aggressive. right now I'm like aggressive so they take more risk and once I get older I'll take less and less risk and mm-hmm. to not lose all my money uh, the year before I actually retired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's a fake retirement? <laughs> it's a short-term fun retirement <laughs> nice she's in a pre-retirement right now pre-retirement <laughs> she's different phase of the retirement and the pre-retirement is also known as an employment <laughs> yep. mm. yeah i still collect an employment right now, so. me too it's not i'm bad. almost me off three. of it <laughs> yeah me no it's done <laughs> what yeah you didn't get it i got it but it's done uh mine's mine's about to be done actually yeah. I have like but one wait. week left. But wait, I thought they extended it. I got my extension already. Ooh, that'd so be now nice. I'm like a. I'm I think you can apply for extension. Look into yeah. it. Ooh. You can. You can have extension. Look into it. No, actually, I can't put on shows still. So no. like, I should maybe still be able to get it. You yeah. know, that's actually, why I got it. It it does. I mean, I'm not sure how it works in Nevada, but for California, it just uh, automatically does it. You don't need oh. to apply oh, yeah? or anything. Yeah. Oh, no, I know. Like I read um, something. I mean, just log in the unemployment website and mm. see what they say. Mm. I think there was a little. I'm down for some more free money. Yeah. I mean, they're just printing it now, so. I don't know. It's all gonna hit the sh- <laughs> shit's gonna hit the fan pretty soon. Yeah. yeah. Maybe after uh, after the elections, they're gonna be like, nope, no more unemployment anyone. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? I think it. No. This is all gonna come to an end right yeah. after the election. Yeah, probably. And they're still debating on like too many things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. Only the future knows. I know. Okay, you guys want to wrap it up right here? Yeah. All right. So 
you guys want to give out your social medias chloe how do we find you real your estate chloe media? no i think my name is chloe dot k t z oh it is that actually i you think, think so oh you don't know no no it is it is and floor yeah dot rulo that's my instagram what, what was that last part the last name how you l l e a u that's not how i would have said it but okay <laughs> Okay, jo. mine is very complicated, so it's easier to find me with my first name and last name. Jojo. Joanne. My, my, my real name is not Jojo, it's Joanne. Joanne? <laughs> yeah, Joanne. Oh, okay. Joanne. But no one calls me Joanne. 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 Mm. Yesterday, my boyfriend called like her Joanne, and yeah, she yesterday was like, he called me Joanne, and I was what? like, what? She freaked out. <laughs> oh yeah, God. because when people say my name, it means like I'm going to be in trouble, it's very say serious, my name, and I'm say like. My name. <laughs> <laughs> We have a singer here. So, oh, yeah. Nice. All right. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe if you Peace. guys haven't. We will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.